So, uh, hey everybody, it's Monday morning. I'm out on the Love Your Neighbor Hub Run for uh, to raise funds in uh, 2022 for CAP, for Spear, for Rework, all the fantastic work that Love Your Neighbor's done over the last 18 months. It's just, or a year, it's, it's amazing. And I uh, want to continue the best of that this next year. I hope you can hear me. Uh, I've no idea what the sound is like, and I'm really sorry for this headband thing. It was quite a stiff wind I, along the cliff tops. I, yesterday I ran from Bournemouth to Swanage, this morning from Swanage right round uh, Dalston Head and Anvil Point, uh, and uh, along to Dancing Ledge, and then I'm just cutting inland here. I've reached the most westerly point at um, Dancing Ledge. Now I head north to, or north-ish, uh, don't correct me, uh, details below, um, over to Corfe Castle and then uh, Wareham. Uh, it's absolutely stunning uh, out here, properly, um, properly, properly stunning. So, I'm going to check the, the watch. I'm actually now going along uh, what's known locally, I think, as Priest's Way, so that's quite, that's quite fun. Um, And uh, each day um, this week, I'll be doing a weekday word. And uh, of course, my thoughts this morning have been for the young people, in particular, the disadvantaged young people coming through uh, Spear in particular, but also through Rework and CAP and uh, the children who are, have been receiving food parcels uh, and... Uh, gifts through the love christmas campaign last christmas who wouldn't have otherwise received them and you know i've just been thinking through the those bible passages that talk about running of course they talk about running with perseverance and uh you know a lot of the disadvantaged young people we're able to come alongside and help them but you know it's not a one-off thing we have to all run with perseverance in life and I suppose part of the reason I'm doing this run is you know yes it's to help raise funds for those programs but also cheesy as it might sound I've been so inspired by the courage and the just the sheer grit and determination the perseverance of those uh, trainees on spear the guys I've met of all ages in the rework scheme or cap and they want to change their lives you know and they've got into an awful place often through no fault of their own and the church is able to come alongside them and change the trajectory of their lives and of course that of many others uh, because they've got the courage to change their lives and we minister in the power of the name of Jesus. It's not just self-help or positive thinking. This is the work of the Holy Spirit, the transformation that he brings about in our lives. And the Bible says that all of us are to run with perseverance, the race marked out for us. You know, we've all got times in life where we have to dig deep. I was just thinking about it this morning. You know, sometimes we fall into the trap I think even in the church I'm sure I've done this of thinking that perseverance is you know I've got to dig deep and you know just kind of knuckle it out and come up with it from within myself and of course that's not really Christian thinking we've got the Holy Spirit as our as our helper and Christian life perseverance in the Christian life isn't a matter of you know being a he-man it's a matter of drawing on the help of the Holy Spirit and that's a whole other thing that's a whole other thing and the good news is it's limitless in its power you know sooner or later if, if you're just relying on your own power sooner or later you're gonna find your limit and what are you gonna do then you know okay I, I think this run is gonna push me to my limit physically mentally maybe but the Holy Spirit is limitless in his power and his assistance for us. And the Bible says that 
in Hebrews chapter 12, it says that for the joy set before him, Jesus endured the cross, scorning its shame. He sat down at the right hand of the Father. And it says, consider him who suffered such opposition at the hands of sinful men that you won't grow weary and lose heart. So it's certainly knocking around my mind today in the, you know, those tough moments of this run where, I don't know, my head droops a bit and, you know, it rains and a little bit cold, you get earache from the headwind. You know, those moments I, I try and consider Jesus and ask him for the endurance and the perseverance that stems from, from him alone. And we can all do that. We all need to do that. We've all got different challenges, okay? You know, I've got the luxury of having a role where I can take time out during the week to do this stupid stuff, to try and raise some money for these various causes. But the truth